Hi everyone. I'll do this uh, homespun video mainly to see how my lighting setup affects different colors. In the past two videos that I've made, the colors weren't exactly the way I wanted, so I made some adjustments to uh, the lighting to see how it is. Anyway, on my tying bench, I have all sorts of flies. It's uh, fresh water, salt water, whatever. And I figured it'd be a good time to ad lib about these, show them to you, so I can, and also so I can see what the colors look like, and maybe pass on some information in this uh, search through my maze on my fly tying desk of uh, patterns that have been completed, some are partially completed, some are in a uh, little bit of everything, salt water, fresh water, whatever. But in the vise here we have the, uh, the race fly, and I'm interested to see how the olive and the yellow show on the videos. In my other video I showed the thread that I use. This is a light green for the race fly. This seems to be uh, coming out better than the on the race fly video. But I like the uh, the light green but perhaps my best color for tying the race fly is a light yellow. This seems a little pale on this video but for right now it'll have to do. And I want to see what orange look like also for uh, tying some crawfish patterns, in particular a root beer fly, which will probably be my next video. It's a small, ter tremendous smallmouth bass fly. In the process we also have this uh, like striper fly, the yellow rebel, but the yellow doesn't want to uh, come as exactly the way I want it. The, the body on this thing is silver tinsel, but it's been palmed with a uh, marabou plume. It has a nice shape to it. Uh, using marabou to palmed marabou up the body does uh, does wonders. It really makes a good looking fly. And plus, there's marabou on top in place of the red calf tail, which the original yellow rebel had. On the desk, we have first thing we grab is a little chartreuse and white clouser. It's uh, Actually, it's an excellent smallmouth fly. I don't know how well you can see it, but uh, this is an excellent smallmouth fly. Chartreuse and white with a couple of strands of gold. Crystal flash on here. I've got eyes, but the eyes aren't finished. They need a dot in the center, and that'll be that. We also have, uh, let's say, we have a golden retriever, original colored golden retriever which was tied with uh, tan marabou and a peach colored chenille body. It's got the red underlayment and this is a great fly. Be worth tying up. There's a whole bunch. I have, uh, let's see, you got this little little brown crystal buggers which I'm trying to it's amazing how well this fly works it's a uh, brown marabou some root beer estaz or root beer ice chenille and I've got a bronze colored copper colored bead on the head uh, if you examine some of these trout in that it's amazing in, in rivers how many crayfish small crayfish you will find inside of them Small, they're not a favorite food of smallmouth. They're also a favorite of uh, of trout because they're readily available. They're there year round, so they're kind of like sawed up. This is a little bit bigger model. It too has a copper head, but it's got a different shade of uh, brown marabou for the tail. Now I come upon other things like this. Chartreuse mouse fly tied with bunny fur and it looks like the colors from what I can tell look like they're not going to be true but these things are easy to tie they take great for smallmouth bass they're basically indestructible Chartreuse this is the yellow one this one's going into uh, this one is going to be put aside into my collection this particular yellow 
Bunny Fly took a small mouth of almost six pounds for me two years ago. So that needs to be put aside. I just can't. I can't lose that one. That was the biggest small mouth of my life. Also over here we have a uh, very couple of real simple flies. It's amazing how simple and how effective these things can be. And a limited amount of materials. It's just basically a caddis lava. And it is, uh, this is made with a with a wire wire core chenille. And all it takes is a little wire core chenille, a couple of turns of peacock curl or oyster curl up in the head and you're all set. This one I put a bead on to give it a little weight. But when these things are tied with the uh, the wire core chenille, it has a nice weight to them and they get down and they do catch fish. They're excellent fish getters. And I don't want to take up this whole time using this, so I'm trying to find some flies that, uh, well, then of course we got this here, which some may be familiar with. It's a uh, brand bed as usual. It's just uh, one material, a uh, snowshoe rabbit foot. And this one is the natural, it's a creamish color. But it, it works. Excellent dry fly, uh, especially when it's got a little floating on it. The thing is basically unsinkable. The rabbit, snowshoe rabbit fur, foot fur is uh, water repellent, so you don't have to dress it, but it makes it float even better. Anyway, trying to find all sorts of stuff here, and I uh, think I'll end it by saying this one's got a nice coloration. One of my favorite flies, just to look at. It's the Professor. It's got a uh, green floss body, gold rib, mallet wing, and uh, red hackle fibers for the tail. Well, that's it. I'm just trying to get an idea on uh, what colors. And, uh, of course, fine, let's finish it up with this one. Very simple. Really works. It's a white bunny fly. And it's amazing, this little thing, when it's in the water, looks like the little squid that uh, Bonita feed on. And uh, <laughs> I think we'll catch fish. Anyway, we'll, hopefully we'll strain this color up and we'll see you later. Bye.